when I tell you my face was giving sandpaper, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Skin. So as you guys can see from the title below, my skin was going through it, okay? I recently experienced a really bad allergic reaction, guys. When I tell you, my face was giving sandpaper, okay? I feel like that's just one of the cons of constantly testing out new products. There's a chance that you can get allergic to something and that's what happened to my skin. So that's why I really wanted to take the time to share with you guys the routine that worked for me because if you guys ever suffer with an allergic reaction or are currently suffering with one, I really hope this routine helps you to heal your skin as soon as possible because it really did work wonders for me. I had to to really simplify my skincare routine, I had to take it down to three products because when you're going through something like this, you do not want to overwhelm your skin. You definitely don't want to go in with a lot of actives at all. No AHAs, no BHAs, none of that stuff. I even had to stop using SPF for a week because that is what my doctor told me. As you can see right now, my skin looks normal, right? I'm going to go ahead and insert a video so you guys can see the levels of sandpaperness that my skin reached. I wish I took a video in the beginning stages when my face was really bad, but honestly, I was just so upset about it. Having your skin go through something is one of the most frustrating things because it is just so present, especially for me because you know, my face is my canvas. It's how I like to create content. It's like how I like to have fun and bond with you guys as well. It's just, you know, through beating my face and applying some skincare. So I was really bummed about it. And honestly, I was just trying to figure out solutions on my own to fix it as soon as possible. I went through a whole week guys, because my skin was going through this for two weeks, all right? I didn't apply any makeup to my face because that's the last thing you want to do is touch your face with makeup when it's extremely irritated, okay? Because your skin is already raw. So I took a break from makeup and all I was doing was just cleansing my face and applying aloe vera gel. It's actually this really nice aloe vera gel from The Face Shop. I'll make sure to insert a picture of it here. I really loved that aloe vera gel. It's so good. The only issue is that it just wasn't working for me because I had an allergic reaction and not like a face rash. Like when I would get a face rash that would lead to like little texture bumps all over my face. I would put on aloe vera gel for a few nights and it would be completely gone. Once I realized that the aloe vera gel was not working, I was like, okay, I think I have an allergic reaction. So what did I do? I went straight to TikTok, the main source of information, okay? <laughs> TikTok got all the answers, all right? I just searched, you know, allergic reactions on the face and I saw so many videos and that's literally what my skin was looking like at the time. In the beginning stages, my whole face was bumpy and dry as hell, but the first areas to really recover were just around my cheeks. The worst points was around my mouth, especially like on these two areas of my chin, as well as my forehead and then just right between my brows. But that's why for this episode of Let's Talk Skin, I wanted to share this with you guys because it's not every day skin is giving flawless. My skin goes through it sometimes too and this just so happened to be one of those really bad times for me and I want to share more of those experience with you guys. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you find this video helpful, but also make sure that you go to your doctor always because all of our skin is different. So if you're experiencing an allergic reaction, make sure you go to your doctor. So yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys get comfortable, grab your snacks, grab your matcha, whatever suits you and let's get to it. So step one is to cleanse your face. You want to make sure you get a really good clean. That is why my face kind of looks a little bit more on the drier side right now, guys. Even though this cleanser I'm about to tell you about is really non-stripping to my skin normally. Like I could go ahead, cleanse my face and walk around the house for a second before I sit down and do the rest of my skincare and my face will not be dry and tight. But because I do have an allergic reaction and my whole skin was really giving dry to the extreme disrespectfulness.com, that is why <laughs> my skin is already dry. It's flaking. It's gonna take time for it to still repair. But I went in with my Caudalie Vino Clean Instant Foaming Cleanser. The reason why I went ahead and picked up this cleanser was mainly because it has a lot of properties to help calm your skin. So I don't know if you guys can see, but like right over here, this part of my forehead is still flaking. And then around my mouth area is still very, very dry, especially like right over here when I'm looking in the mirror, like this whole area of my mouth and chin. But since I went ahead and cleansed my skin off camera, I'm going to insert a video so you guys can see what the formula is like and the consistency. Again, it is a foaming cleanser. And I have my laptop right over here with my notes of talking points that I want to mention to you guys like I always do in all of my let's talk skin videos you guys know I'm very passionate about giving you the tea when it comes to skincare products so hopefully when you walk away from this video you feel like you've learned something new so the main reason why I made the shift to this cleanser is because it has hydrating green grape as well as calming chamomile and sage for a natural antioxidant boost it's gentle on the skin vegan removes makeup anything it's made for all skin types you can use it day to night and the formula contains 97 natural origin ingredients 
ingredients. It's tested by dermatologists and ophthalmologists. So it's gonna be really, really safe for your skin. Those are the type of products that you wanna use when your skin is going through it, okay? <laughs> But honestly, guys, the minute I switched over to this cleanser, I saw a difference with how less irritated and itchy my skin was because as you can imagine, when you have an allergic reaction, your skin becomes very hot, itchy, and uncomfortable. So I would go ahead with this and try to cleanse my face for a good minute. You wanna make sure that you wash it off with cold water, guys. When I tell you, that will make your face feel so much better. So for the next product I wanna mention to you guys is actually a serum. Because when I went to my doctor, she said, you have to keep your skincare routine extremely simple. Oh, so you have to go in with your cleanser and then you gotta go in with a serum that is hyaluronic acid. So only hyaluronic acid. For serum, I went in with this one from Belief. You guys know Caudalie and Belief are two of my favorite skincare brands. It only made sense to implement products from brands that I know will really work with my skin and I've tried before that will work with my skin skin at this time, you don't want to be introducing any new products. You want to go safe, okay? This is their Aqua Bomb Hyla Acid 11% Serum. And I'm actually going to take a second to apply it on, guys, because we've been talking for a hot minute with my face looking ashy.com. <laughs> Except for my little lip balm that I applied. Let's go ahead with some of that so that I can continue talking with you guys. I would go in with a generous amount because these are the only two products that you're applying to your skin. So you want to make sure that you put on a good amount because I noticed when I was going in with a regular amount that you would go in with, I just felt like my skin was absorbing it so fast and it just turned dry again. So I just wanted to go in with a little more product and just be a little more generous since my skin needed the extra TLC right now more than ever. So I'm just going in with some of that and as you can see it's already drying down really quickly because like I said my skin is just sucking up the product so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some on my forehead as well and I made sure to get in my brows as well just everywhere that needed that moisture and then just taking a little bit more around my mouth area and for eye cream, I went in quickly with my Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. If you guys are regulars to my channel, you already know about this eye cream. This is my tried and true eye cream for hydration. But the main reason why I picked this serum from Belief out of all of the skincare products that I have is because of the ingredients. So the Hyla Acid formula includes hyaluronic acid that has five types of hyaluronic acid with different molecular structures to target multiple layers of the skin while increasing your skin's elasticity and radiance. But it also has aloe, polysaccharide, I think that's how you pronounce it, which is known for its excellent soothing and moisturizing properties without heaviness. The serum is also tested by dermatologists, which is great. And for the hyaluronic acid, it's actually the penta hyaluronic acid, which helps to draw the water into your skin without irritation. And it also has ferulic acid, which is a powerful plant-derived ingredient to provide powerful antioxidant effects and supports your body's natural production of hyaluronic acid. That brings me to the cream that my doctor told me me to use. Now, like I said, make sure you go to your doctor because like everybody's skin is different, but this is just an over-the-counter cream and it's called High Derm and it's a 1% hydrocortisone cream and it's for temporary relief of minor skin irritations, itchiness, and redness. And when I tell you guys, the minute I got this cream, it made my life so much more bearable because like I said, my skin was feeling hot. It was feeling really, really itchy and it took that completely away. But one of the main things that I want to mention to you guys that my doctor said is very important is that you don't wanna make sure you use it longer than a week. For example, today would be my last day of using the cream. And then after this, I feel like I just continue to use the hyaluronic acid and just my cleanser because it is a cream that has steroid in it that can cause your skin to thin. You wanna make sure you only use it on parts of your face that has the allergic reaction. So for me, once my cheeks were healed, I stopped using it on my cheeks. I only continue to use it around my mouth and my forehead and just right between my brows, which is where I had a lot of bumps left. Like I said, it is an over-the-counter cream. So if I ever have an allergic reaction in the future, I know that I can go ahead and pick this up and use it in those targeted zones. Hopefully, inshallah, it never happens again. But if it does, at least I found out something that works for me. And it says that you can use it two to four times a day, but my doctor told me just to use it twice. So morning and night. And you're supposed to only use it for a maximum of seven days. So today is my last day. And the craziest part is that the day that I went to go see my doctor, I didn't put anything on my face other than cleansing my skin. And then I went in with some SPF. And when I tell you guys, the way my skin was on fire from applying this SPF, and mind you, this is an SPF I use all the time, but my skin clearly was super raw and putting on SPF made it 
ding. I thought if I go outside with no SPF protecting my skin and I already have an allergic reaction, I'm just gonna come back home and my skin's gonna be a hot mess. That was not the case. Like my doctor was like, listen, you're not gonna die for not wearing SPF for a week, okay? Nothing else on your face except your cleanser and your serum and your hydrocortisone cream. And that's it, okay? Period. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some on the areas of my skin that still need it. So just right around my chin. And a little goes a long way, guys. Literally a dot of this cream can cover all of the areas of your face. <laughs> I go in with a little more though on my forehead because my forehead still feels bumpy.com. And yeah guys, that brings me to the end of my skincare routine that helped to soothe and save my skin. Thank God, okay? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.